In aviation, we do everything we can to avoid having an accident, but they do happen. In the unlikely event that one happens to you, it's best to be prepared. And that preparation starts before you take off. The primary way to get search and rescue's attention is through the use of a flight plan, flight notification, or flight itinerary. Always file one. If you're overdue, air traffic service will notify search and rescue, and SAR will start a search. Hi, I'd like to file a flight plan. Your ELT, or Emergency Locator Transmitter, will also alert search and rescue and guide search aircraft to the location of the downed aircraft. If you do make an unscheduled landing, an ELT activated by impact forces or being manually switched on will alert the overflying COSPAS SARSAT search and rescue satellites. These satellites relay the distress signal to a rescue coordination center. They will determine the approximate accident location and launch search and rescue or CACERA aircraft. CACERA stands for Civil Air Search and Rescue Association an organization of volunteers who use their own aircraft to augment the Department of National Defense search and rescue aircraft. CACERA has been instrumental in the success of many search and rescue missions. An ELT signal will probably be the first indication that an airplane is down and get the search started quickly. Otherwise, no one will take action until you're overdue on your flight plan, notification, or itinerary. The shock from the impact of a forced landing should start the ELT automatically, but just in case, if you find yourself making an unscheduled landing, turn it on manually and leave it on. Because of ELTs, most survivors are rescued very quickly. However, being well prepared is essential, as bad weather could delay search operations. Although shorts and t-shirts are obviously more comfortable during the summer, an unscheduled landing may result in fire. Experience shows that at least one layer of natural fibers, such as cotton or wool, should be worn next to the skin. These materials will not melt in the case of an in-flight or post-flight fire. Even if the day is warm and sunny, evenings are generally cooler. And something like a cold front or rain can make your stay, waiting for help, more dangerous than the crash. So we should be prepared with a few survival basics. The first item is a jacket that should be worn or kept within easy reach in the airplane. And the best jacket is one with a lot of pockets that can carry a variety of survival items. The item should include matches in a waterproof container. In the summer, insect repellent will make the nights at least tolerable. The pockets should also contain a flashlight, jackknife, and signaling mirror. The light is useful for waving a search aircraft. A jackknife, especially a multi-tool knife, has a multitude of uses. And the signaling mirror is a must for attracting search aircraft during the day. Most survival experts recommend that we keep compact high-energy foods, like granola bars, in the jacket pockets, and that we save them for the second and subsequent days of our wait in the wilderness. The theory is that we probably had breakfast or lunch before we took off, and our bodies won't really miss a feeding until the day after. What can be carried in the jacket is a minimal survival kit. On board the aircraft should also be a complete first aid kit, and if you expect to be flying over an area where help may take some time, consider items like an axe, sleeping bag for each person, mosquito net, and tarpaulin or tent. While search and rescue's goal is to get us out of the woods as quickly as possible, circumstances such as weather can conspire to keep us at the crash site for several days. We might as well be as comfortable as possible in the meantime. And while waiting for the rescue, stay with the airplane. Don't try to walk out. Search crews will follow your aircraft's flight path during a search and will generally see the airplane before they see people struggling through the woods. Plus, that's where your ELT is sending a signal from. Canada's search and rescue system is among the best in the world. And although most rescues happen very quickly, we should have the equipment and the knowledge to survive on our own for a few days. I'm Mike Dwaron, inviting you to return next time to fly with us through the overcast.